There's a growing do-it-yourself movement in this country where everyday people are taking found and discarded items and reimagining their uses in new and interesting ways. I love these old Macintosh computers. I know I can make something good out of this. There are TV shows, magazines and websites, even a whole cable network, all dedicated to DIY, which stands for do-it-yourself. The information is out there and people are realizing that the junk in their garage can be made into some pretty cool design. There hasn't been a name given to this movement yet, but now there is. Gomi. I first heard the word Gomi in a book by cyberpunk author William Gibson. Gomi is a Japanese word which means dust or garbage, but it's become a popular slang word to mean anything that we throw away or discard. Gomi is so much more than dumpster diving. It's a way of life, and one that does the earth a favor by stressing recycling and reuse over conspicuous consumption. Here on Gomi Style, we're going to show you just how fun and easy it is to create a little Gomi chic in your life. We're going to build some fun and unusual projects for your house, your car, just about anything you can imagine. Now, let's see what happens when I give this old Macintosh a Gomi Style makeover. This video sculpture is an extreme example of taking something old and discarded and making something radically new. And another challenging project is coming up next on Gomi Style. Behind me over my shoulder is my friend Dan's house. Dan has a problem. In his bathroom where the mirror should be, there's a big gaping hole. Dan also loves aquariums and he's asked me to build him one. He doesn't know it yet, but what we plan to do is build him an aqua mirror. That's an aquarium mirror all in one, and it's going to fit into that hole in his bathroom. So he has no idea we're coming, but we're about to surprise him and build the aqua mirror in his bathroom today. Let's go. All right, now I have his key, so let's surprise him. Hey, how you doing, Dan? Uh, okay. Am I waking you up? Oh, you might want to get dressed here. Congratulations! You're the first homeowner to get a Gomi style makeover. You kidding? It's about San Francisco artists doing things outside the box. You're the first client. You're the first homeowner. Come no, on, dude. No. We're gonna be in one room. You're gonna love it. I'm not gonna love it. Or even right. if I am, it's not gonna right, Hold today. on, a second. kill the camera. You know what's really killing me is Dan isn't even going to be around tomorrow. He's going skiing. We've got the whole house to ourselves tomorrow. Okay, let's go. Charlie has cleaned and prepped the bathroom walls, and he's about to begin the paint job. No, 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 no. This is building resources. Everything you see here is either recycled or salvaged out of a building, and they have everything here. Sinks, bathtubs, marble and tile, Toilets, literally tons of doors, and koi fish. Now this is why I love building resources. All this here is recycled glass. These are vodka bottles. Right here we have beer bottles. These must be wine bottles. And this here is actually my favorite. This is a recycled broken 
car windshield. It's been tumbled, so it's all smooth, and I think this will make the perfect gravel for the bottom of our aquarium. So now let's get some aquarium materials. I think we should go with plexi instead of glass because it's a sort of an awkward uh, installation and the homeowner's gonna have to pull it out and clean it. And I just think glass- Yeah, it's way too heavy. Way too heavy. Yeah. And normally they have a great selection of plexi, although most of it's too skinny. The few pieces that might be thick enough are pretty scratched yeah. up. Yeah. This might be one of the things where it's worth it to actually pay retail and get the right thing and build it yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Normally when I come to tap plastic, I root around in all of the scrap material. I'd like to order some acrylic for an aquarium that I'm making. Today, however, we're gonna have them cut the pieces to size. If the cuts aren't absolutely perfect, then it's not gonna seal up as an aquarium. So it's definitely worth it to have them do the cutting. Excellent, I didn't screw up. Always measure twice and cut once. This is a dumpster. This is one of your best resources when you're building Gomi style. What's good about it is everything in it is free, you never know what you're going to find, and dumpsters are pretty much available everywhere. Today we totally scored. We got this, which doesn't look like much, but it's going to be the light source for our aquarium. And we really scored by finding this broken picture frame, which we can cut down and use to frame our aquarium. Now some people don't like it so much when you go digging through their dumpsters and the cops might give you a hassle. So that's why we provide ourselves one of these. So if anyone comes up and says, what are you doing in that dumpster? We just say, you know, we saw the sign. What do we know? So let's, uh, let's get that box built and we'll start placing it in there for size and see how much more uh, adjustments we need to make to this hole. This glue is pretty toxic and fumey. So you want to be outside and use a well-ventilated area. There we go. What's really cool about this is that the solvent has very high capillary action, which means it like looks for gaps and fills them in to make a, a watertight seal. Once that's dry, it's an aquarium. So I'm pulling this uh, lamp apart that we found in the dumpster. We just gotta pull these two lights off of it. We'll figure out a way to mount this right above the, the aquarium box. You know, I should actually plug this in and make sure it actually works. <laughs> I guess they work. I guess the lights work. Do, 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 do. Disco, 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 Dan, you're gonna love this. Trust me. Give me, give me an hour. Trust you. Give you me broke 40... into my house, dude. Give me. Charlie's fish. here. He's got the fish. Just let me get fish? the fish, and what? we'll be fine. No, no, no. take the fish. No fish. Wait, Come on, just give no me the fish. fish. I had to go get the fish. No hey, fish. Hey, careful. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh fish. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, this one slipped. One other, this one slipped. Hold on, I got it. I got it. Don't crush it. Don't crush it. Let me do it. Okay. Ready? All right. Dan, Gomi Style presents the Aquamira. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. This is awesome. It's a four gallon fish tank. You feed and care for the fish through the closet in the back. And the best part about it is. Oh, man. Get ready for this. Wow, that is really cool. So it's a night light and a mirror. And it was done with almost all found objects. Maybe we spent $40 for everything. Thank you. See how fun and easy it is to bring a little Gomi into your life? Gomi. Next time on Gomi Style, we're gonna turn this old pickup truck into a solar powered hot tub. I'm Mark Kornblatt. See you next time on Gomi Style. Gomi.